Miss Anka. <laughs> Memoirs of a wild childhood spent with brothers, sisters, and scorpions. Gerald Darrell's classic, My Family and Other Animals, at six here on BBC One. And to enjoy the magic of winter as seen through the eyes of children, satellite viewers can press red now and select your stories. My family had always been a bit different. Description of passengers, one travelling circus and star. We all lived together with my animals. No more wildlife! At least the animals were house trained. My family and other animals, tonight at six on BBC One. Compelling spelling in 20 minutes, kids from the east of England and Wales compete for a place in the hard spell final. That's out of the news now on BBC One with Hugh Edwards. Severe weather warnings are in place for much of eastern and central England. Icy conditions are set to continue and to spread to other regions over the next couple of days. Kerry Packer, the man who revolutionised the world of cricket, has died and across the country, an extremely busy start to the post-Christmas sales. Good afternoon. The Met Office says that icy conditions are set to continue across eastern and central England over the next couple of days. There's a severe weather warning in force and the snow is expected to spread, causing more disruption to drivers and to rail passengers. Police are advising people not to use their cars unless the journey is essential. The freezing winds have swept in overnight from northern Europe, badly affecting East Anglia and other parts of eastern England. Kent is among the worst hit counties and uh, we can join Duncan Kennedy at Lenham. Yes, Hugh, good evening. It may look picturesque, but just look at it. The snow has come back with a vengeance in the last hour or so. Well, I can tell you the temperatures are plummeting. It's absolutely freezing here, and that means all sorts of problems for drivers on the road tonight. As you say, we are in Mid-Kent, which has seen some of the worst of the weather.